Hey guys, today a little bit different video because with all these cheating, cheating videos, what's going on and Facey not doing their job, like a lot of neg negativity is around people that actually want to play this game and actually want to enjoy this game because like me, a lot of people accept that CSGO is not coming back and the mainstream game is CS2. And it is how it is, like it's, it's a different game, it's just a different game, I accept that, a lot of stuff I don't like in the game, but I want to play, I want to have fun and that's it. That's why I will, I will show you how I made my game work really good like from from uh, optimization the bloating uh, it's not uh, like it, this optimization is super easy super easy so so everyone can follow this and it works really good for me like mouse feeling in the cs2 everything latency i fix a lot of stuff with this and this is the only optimization that worked for me it's not like fps boost something it's it's to work good like it's to work clean and that's it Let, let's jump in optimization I'll start with Chris Titus easy fast optimization. So you just need a uh, PowerShell and you and you run it as administrator. It's really important to run it as an administrator and I will leave this in the description. This is like super easy, super easy to use. And you just paste it here and you enter and it will you, you wait a little bit. It will start a program from Chris Titus and then you will have a, like a easy, easy options how to do some tweaks. And you just read what you are doing. Like you, you can also install a lot of uh, a lot of programs from here, but I don't need that. So I go just tweaks, as you can see here. I go tweaks, and then I go standard. Stand, standard is if you don't know what you are you are setting on and everything. Standard will create restore points, so you can always go uh, if if you don't like it how it feels, you can go to restore point and restore uh, like old Windows before you did everything like you before you did this optimization. Optimization very important. So I just go like this, bam, 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 and then I find something that I want to add. Like uh, if you don't use Adobe, you can network block it, you can Adobe deploy it, blah, 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 disable. But I don't, uh, I don't do that. I do uh, disable background apps, disable full screen optimization, uh, copy lot. If you are not using it, you can disable it. Uh, if you are not using Intel uh, CPU, you are full AMD. You just bam, uh, you click this uh, notifications. I don't need no notifications for, from tray and calendar. A Windows platform binary, I don't know what that is, so I don't do that, but I go like display for performance, classic right click, you see my right click is, is like before in, in Windows 10 if you have Windows uh, 11. So I click also remove, uh, no, no, this, sorry. Uh, I remove Microsoft Edge, I don't use it. Uh, I also remove OneDrive because I don't use it. And you can block Razer software installs when you plug Razer and then they instantly go and, and install uh, Razer software, so you can block that. But this is it, what I use. And on the right side, you can activate Ultimate Performance uh, Power Plan. It will be set everything up when you click it. And you can watch here what you want, dark theme for Windows. Uh, you can turn off Bing search, uh, blah, blah, blah. Some, uh, just, just read it. It's simple. It's simple. Mouse acceleration. You want it on or off. Easy as that. You just set that and you uh, click run fix and just wait until here. Here you will see uh, everything happening. And at the end, it will say tweaks are finished. So I will not click that right now because I already done that. But that's the first thing of optimization I do. Then the second thing is I have this folder. I open that folder. It's CS2 new FPS pack by Bear Fox. So I got this folder from, from a friend, but here we can see it's Bear Fox. So I start like this. I go in the first, like this first folder, AMD GP optimization pack, I click it. Uh, I go again, GPU optimization, and I find AMD register optimization. Boom, best CPU settings. I click that, I start that, and I disable Windows unnecessary service. Only two from here, because I don't know about the rest. I don't use it. I have NVIDIA GPU, but I also hear that AMD GPUs are really, really good in CS. And I want to test that, of course. So I finish that, I go back, turbo optimization, I really don't know what that is, so I'm not touching that. So I go uh, CS new FPS pack by Bearfox, I click there, jump in, C CPU priority, you choose your CPU, Intel or AMD, bam, I have AMD, I click that, like this double, then I click it to run, 
and I just fade yes, yes, you want it, okay, everything okay, bam, bam, bam. And I do that also for CS2 optimization. If you want it to be high priority, I use high priority. It works really good for me. RAM optimization, you use your RAM uh, right here, how much you have, uh, you go, I go for 32, I have 32. Uh, same thing, I'm just starting that. Programs, you can use cache cleaner, memory duct, quick CPU. I really don't use that. If you start cache cleaner, it will just clean your cache. You can do that, no problem. Unwant uh, unwanted services, if you don't use Bluetooth, you can click it. I use uh, disable core parking. I use uh, disable extra necessary services, disable printer because I don't have printer on my PC. The uh, disable Xbox services, thread priority, and I don't use this one. This is like everything I, I use. I will just tell you because some of them, I don't know what they are doing. It's not really important for me because my game works really good. Input lag fix, keyboard latency fix. I have magnetic keyboard, so I use medium end, but you can also use high end. You click that, you go back, mouse latency, bam, you go both of these, you just start them same as I showed you. You use that to like reduce the uh, input lag uh, feeling like on your, on your mouse and keyboard. Power plan, you don't need to use that because we already did that before. And batch tweaks, I do the latency tweaks and that, that's it. Like the others, I don't know what it is. If you want to know about it more, check it. I don't need it. It works everything good. So when I finish with this full optimization pack, I restart PC and then I come back. I come back to NVIDIA. These are my settings. Like, let's go from the start. I use 3D image settings. You see here, someone, uh, some people are like, click here and put it on performance. But if you are already using advanced 3D image settings, you don't need under, like you are choosing, this is three choices. You can, you can go by these three choices. And then if you are using 3D image settings like me, you go to 3D image settings, you go program settings and you find CS2. Like that's important. You find CS2, you go, if you don't see it, like if you click here, if you don't see CS2, you go add and you find it like this or browse where it's installed. So how I setting uh, my, my CS2? I go like this, latency mode I put on ultra, but you can also use on. It's not a big difference, but uh, in game I turn off, I, like, like in game Nvidia reflex is off. So maybe this is not affected, but this is how I use. So next I'm going with uh, open GL GDI compatibility prefer performance. I go NVIDIA, here open GL rendering GPU. I put NVIDIA because it can go out to select, but I mean, NVIDIA is only only thing I have. Power management mode, prefer maximum performance when I'm playing Counter-Strike. Uh, highest available for uh, refresh rate for my monitor. Uh, this anisotropic sample I'm using on. Negative load BS is allowed, it's global setting. Uh, texture filtering quality is high performance. Uh, Trillionaire optimization is on, threaded optimization is on, triple buffering is off. I tried that, do not set it on, it's terrible. Vertical sync, of course, off, virtual one, bam, bam, bam. You see everything on your screen. This is how I set my 3D image settings to work for me. Then I go here, physics, of course, I put, uh, I put on my NVIDIA. And then when we are going uh, for resolution, uh, I go here, desktop size and position. I go full screen, I, have, I go GPU and I override the scaling mode. Uh, some people say for them, it's better to put display. This is how it feels the best for me. And I will show you on screen some shots they do. Uh, they, are, they are registering pretty good. Everything is working really good for me. The people that I help with this optimization, I give them this. Also, they're saying like, oh, it, it feels amazing. A lot of my uh, hits are registered and I don't feel that like picker's advantage that much. Yes, it depends on server a lot. It depends on server, but on good server, everything works great for me and that's important. After I finish with Nvidia, I start firewall. That's important, like advanced security. If you don't have advanced security, you see only Windows Defend firewall, you open that and advanced security is here, advanced settings, bam, you click it there and you will get this window. This window is really important. So we have inbound rules. You open that, you go new rule. Uh, I will just delete because I already have. It's called test. I will delete it so I can I can show you how I make new rule. So we go program, we go next. 
we go this program path browse and you find where cs is installed like for me it's local d steam steam maps common counter-strike global offensive game bean and windows 64 and then you will find counter-strike like this you go open you go next allow the connection and then all this bam you go uh you go next and here i call it test or cs2 test however it's just for me to know which rule it is so i go finish there and I do the same with out outband rules. This test is mine. I'll just delete it because I want to show you that I do that on my PC. I go program, I go the program pad, bam. It's already there because we found it once. We go next, allow all connections because automatically it's blocking the connection. We go allow everything, domain, private, public, bam. And of course, the same, I'll put large letters, uh, test CS2. Easy as that, we go finish. This one, it maybe looks like, ah, bro, it's nothing special, but actually it helps a lot of people with connection, with loss, with ping, uh, and how the game feels when you are like your latency and everything, your mouse. It's just amazing how it works. So I'm using this, and also I'll show you my in-game settings. My in-game settings are these. This is not really like uh, important uh, what resolution you use and all that, but I have like 2K monitor and I can use like high 4x3 high resolution, but actually I noticed this high resolution actually um, uh, uh, like brings input lag in my game. It's like the input lag is higher. So even if I have 2K monitor, I'm using a uh, regular, this is five by four resolution aspect ratio and this resolution I'm using. And so when you go advanced, I disable boost player contrast. It doesn't work anything special for me. V-Sync, of course, disabled and Video G-Sync also disabled. Uh, some people say, oh, with G-Sync, it works good for me. Nah, bro, I tried it. It's not good for me. And with the low latency reflex is disabled here because I turn it on in driver. But maybe this is like the main setting that actually disable it because Nvidia reflex low latency is old. But on AMD GPUs uh, that I think it's anti-lag, anti-lag 2, something like anti-lag for, for CS2, I really don't know, but it's specially made for the game. And people told me that they have AMD GPUs using it, told me like it feels really good with that on, like a good player, I'm talking about really experienced players, saying that, uh, and also I was trying uh, RX 6600, and AMD maybe, don't like, don't attack me, but maybe it feels better with that anti-lag uh, than Nvidia. It feels better in game. I, I I was like, maybe I was tripping, but actually I could catch guys picking me. It was it was interesting, and from like, like I wanted to change my my Nvidia GPU. I wanted to change for AMD, and I will probably do that for for the test. I really don't have problem with this. I just hit good shots. Game feels pretty good. I'm enjoying uh, playing Premiere more than Face It. If you trust me, uh, let me show you. Like this is me uh, right here on, on Inferno. This is me, yeah, this guy is actually a cheater, but it doesn't matter. And, and maybe this guy is a cheater, who knows? But I just play, I just enjoy. You see, I drop almost 30 fra frags in regular time, just running around shooting. Uh, here also I have 20 frags, boom, I'm enjoying the game, I'm playing. Uh, if you go here also, I play with my friend, we're having fun, we are just running and shooting and killing, and game works really good. Uh, Picker's advantage is still big, but with these settings, it feels amazing and I love it. And that's why I wanted to share this for, for everyone who still loves to play, still loves to play, because for me there is not and any game, like there is no better game for me right now. And yeah, I would love for them to fix those speakers advantage, fix some some crazy dying behind the, behind the wall. But with these settings, you will actually die less behind the wall. It will like reduce a lot. It will feel better. Just try it a little bit. Let's remove that negativity, cheaters on face, cheaters everywhere. Let's just have fun on our favorite game, guys. Stay good. God bless you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.